morning, we continued of the Ecclesiastes chapters. Shalom, and good morning. We continued of the Ecclesiastes chapters 5 to 8, reading from verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. They consider not that they do. My comment, fools. Fools here include those who think they are doing the right by God. But like Matthew 7.23, are committed to God. Continue from verse four. When thou vowest a vow unto God, and turn not to pay it, for he have no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow than thou shouldest vow and not pay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin, neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should God be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thy hands? Verse 10. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. When goods increase, they are increased that eat them. And what good is there to the owners thereof, saving the beholding of them with their eyes? 15. As he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. 19. Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof, and to take his portion, and to rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 6, starting from verse 7. All the labor of man is for his mouth, and yet the appetite is not filled. For what hath the wise more than the fool? What hath the poor that knoweth to walk before the living? Better is the sight but it is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of the desire. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. That which has been is named already, and it is known that it is man. Neither may he contend with him that is, might, that is mightier than he. Seeing there be many things that increase vanity, what is man better? For who knoweth what is good for man in this life? All the days of his vain life, which he spendeth as a shadow. For who can tell a man what shall be after him under the sun? Chapter 7 It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for man to hear the song of fools. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. 11. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense, but the excellence of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. 19. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. 25. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is nears and nets and her hands as bands who pleaseth God, who, sorry, her hands as, and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one, to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found, that 
God have made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Chapter 8, verse 1. Who is the wise man? Who knoweth the, the, the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Verse 5. Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Because to every purpose there is time and judgment, therefore the misery of man is great upon him. For he knoweth not that which shall be, for who can tell him when it shall be? There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither have he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. Verse 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before God. This, sorry, there is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that there be just men, upon whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men, to whom it happeneth according to work of the righteous. I said that this also is vanity. Shalom until tomorrow. Continue reading all of the proper, all of Ecclesiastes.